you want to get spontaneous about cruising, the way to go is with an inside cabin. But if you want a balcony or you want a suite, like uh, the last two cruises I took, I had an exercise balcony and a suite with a hot tub. But I had to book that way in advance. But if you like to get spontaneous, there is always inside cabins. I have sailed many times on inside cabins. And never once did I say that was a horrible experience. I'll never do it again. Never said that. In fact, I don't even think I complained about it at all. I enjoyed it. And especially if you give your cabin steward, not an inside cabin, everybody gets a cabin steward, you give him $5 a day, you are going to get treated like royalty, even though you're in an inside cabin. So I'm pitching to you that if you want to cruise and you want to get more spontaneous, uh, say you want to cruise in the month. Well, you want to cruise in the month. All of the balcony cabins and suites are gone, guaranteed. But you'll get an inside cabin. You want to cruise within a week. You may find an inside cabin. You may find an inside cabin in less than a week if you search around for one. So keep that in mind. If you're a spontaneous traveler and do not like booking months and months, if not years in advance for a cruise, think about getting an inside cabin and be more spontaneous in your travel. Plus, the cruise lines offer a lot of good deals if you'll take an inside cabin. My next cruise I'm going on with Royal Caribbean, I took this, uh, I bought this cruise because they offered me a deal I couldn't refuse on an inside cabin.